all right welcome to another video by dolphin computer service inc uh today we're gonna be talking about the typical graphics card that you see in an office pc so this is actually a display adapter this one is actually an radeon hd 4550 as stated up here uh they market this this is made by amd they market this as a graphics card it's I think even that's a stretch for this thing. This is basically what I call and what the industry calls a display adapter. So if you were looking for something to play the latest game on your computer, well, uh, Chief, this ain't it. Uh, this is, well, again, saying what I call a display adapter. So what is a display adapter? A display adapter gives a computer that never had, in this case, DVI on this side, the big white one, and display port. It gives a computer that never had these originally from the factory and gives them the ability to have these connections. So why do we do this? Well, there's a lot of older computers out there. In fact, this one came from the small form factor PC that I showed in the two previous videos. And the reason why we do this is because there's a lot of older computers that are still functional, they have lots of data on it, and the company doesn't really want to spend a lot of money to upgrade new computers and dealing with the hassle of setting up new computers and transferring the data from the old one to the new one, and then having to find a way of disposing the old computers or getting rid of them or selling them or et cetera, et cetera. So, so normally when you have an older computer and let's say, like a lot of companies do, they buy new monitors or replace a broken monitor. Well, the new monitor may not have VGA or S-Video or whichever, or VGA or any of that. So what you do is you buy one of these, which is a display adapter. It gives the computer a display port, a DVI, some of these have HDMI, and it gives the computer that capability now. So now you have an old computer that's capable of connecting to a newer computer. This also frees up the CPU a little bit. So instead of the CPU having to handle both graphics and processing power, it could just completely offload all the graphics computing here and free up the CPU just that much more to be able to do more work. I mean, you barely would even really notice it in everyday computing, but um, nonetheless, it'll free it up. So yeah, that's basically what, what these are for. There's nothing really extravagant about this particular model. Your memory modules are these right here. I believe this one has 256 megabytes of RAM. This one has an active cooling unit. Um, some of these are passively cooled, so you just see a giant heat sink on it. Um, these also have the same maintenance cycles as a typical CPU where you have to go and regularly replace the thermal paste, clean the fan, make sure, you know, everything is up to snuff. This is what we call a half height or a, um, or a small form factor graphics card because it is half the height of a standard one. Most graphics cards like these, like these little adapters will have a full size card um a shield here and then they have this one like what well, this one is installed the half height because it was installed in a small form factor pc um we just have a bunch of capacitors here this one is the pci x16 slot um they're coming various sizes there's regular pci there's even agp and at one point there was an isa bus for it for these things so this is the latest standard you'll see the pci 16 on the back here Nothing crazy, just the mounting points for the heat sink, some more memory modules back here, and a bunch of little MOSFETs and logic gates and resistors. But this is basically what a typical GPU or the short term or display adapter is. These these uh, a standard GPU can get pretty big, and they get pretty thick. Some of them are double height, where where they have where there's two of these or even three of them put together because the heat sink is so large that they have to take up multiple slots so it's very important to choose 
the right graphics card for your application. NVIDIA makes great graphics cards for small form factor devices like the PC I displayed on the channel a couple of weeks ago, where um, it's either a 1050 Ti or a 1650 Super. And it gives those little computers a whole lot more graphical power to be able to play even some of the latest games at medium settings and a lot of the older games or lighter games at high settings. Uh, this, like I said, this is really not a graphics card. It's more of a display adapter. Um, you know, try and run any game on this besides, you know, the the pinball from Windows XP and it most definitely struggle. But thank you for watching this video and hope to see you all in the next one.